All right, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, bless us as we study. I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. You'll have to talk with your full force for it to hear you. Okay. So it's been two weeks since we had this class. So let's start with a review. Things that you should remember. Uh, let's start with diabetes. There's type 1 and type 2. Type 1 or type 2 as it. Uh, Anil, which one do you get as a child? Type 1 or type 2? Uh, type 1 or type 2? Type 1. That's correct. Type 1 is the one you get as children. And in type 1, your own immune system attacks your pancreas. Type 1 is your pancreas. Why does the immune system get confused? There's more than one reason. <coughs> but one of them is that the is that chill, babies are using cow's milk. <coughs> and when they do, there is a insulin in that cow's milk that is similar in shape to the insulin producing cells in our pancreas. So I say it again? Yes. So in cow's milk, you have insulin. The shape is similar to some of the cells in our pancreas. The baby's immune system is not mature. It's still learning things. And when it finds that uh, cow insulin, and it attacks it, the cells that attack it are looking for a shape that is also the shape of cells in your pancreas. <coughs> So that's one of the ways that type 1 diabetes happens. Uh, Ujurang, how does type 2 diabetes happen? Type 2 diabetes came over right. What leads up to it? Okay, so in type 2 diabetes, you have too much insulin being produced. Type 2 diabetes is very insulin. And why is the body producing too much? Because the cells have become insensitive to it. And how did the cells become insensitive? Good morning, Kevin. So we talked about a number of processes that make the cells less sensitive. One of them is too much blood sugar. And how do you get too much blood sugar? By not exercising. Because exercise pulls the sugar out of the blood. And by eating too much at night. Because you're not doing any exercise at night. <coughs> so, of course, your blood sugar goes higher. 
There are other things we talked about that uh, make the cells insensitive. I'm raro, aro kisukatha bolsi, cellular bishoye jara insulin bishoye ja cell ke protirodok kore fale. Several of the substances in meat do this. Um, mangsher modhe o kisu padar thase jai rokom kore tole. Like the trans fats and the saturated fats. Trans fat are saturated fat. And a uh, hundred years ago, that's where everyone got their trans fat. But now you can get trans fat from some other source. What's the other source? What did she say? Uh, so the question is, other than meat, where else can you find trans fats? In the answer is, it's in those little junk foods that you can buy in the, in the shops beside the road. <coughs> Most of those junk foods have fat in them. And they have to stay. They have to stay good for many months. <laughs> so to make them stay good, they use trans fats. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a review of the causes of diabetes. Diabetics review and if you understand the causes, it's not hard to give good advice. What would be some good advice for someone that has type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetics have a patient And you can tell me one. What's one advice you can give? Controlling food. Exercise. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so exercise will help with the diabetes. Exercise, diabetes, and you said control the food. Kemi, in what way control the food? What should that diet go ahead? Diabetes is a so you would counsel them to eat no meat. No fish. And to get off of the junk foods. Because that would help with the diabetes. And Ujran, what might you suggest to them about the timing of their meals. More food in the morning and less in the evening. Great. This is the right answer. These three things, the no meat, the food timing, and the exercise, is enough to reverse the diabetes. As long as they also quit snacking. So now let's review the heart disease. There are quite a number of types of heart disease. Some of them come from your what you inherit from your parents. And many of those require surgery even in the first few days of life. Uh, 
Probably in Bangladesh, those babies just die. But the most common heart diseases are the ones caused by lifestyle. We've already mentioned one food that causes heart disease. What is it? Starts with tea. Sa coffee. I don't know. Tea dia shudu hai. Tea. She said, he said, I heard tea. it. Tea and coffee. Mm -hmm. Trans fats. Trans, trans, fat. trans fat. Even one spoon of trans fats, it will damage your arteries. Trans fat act almost oil out to my artery in Australia. And uh, so avoiding those is so important. Are I avoid kara, uta putrut kara, kuru putrut. I think many people in Bangladesh that have a plant-based diet will be surprised that their heart has been damaged by the junk food they're eating. Diagnostic exam is here. Diagnosis did this, this exam. Yes, after mm -hmm. one week. Yeah, so it's good that we had a review, right? Trans fat. 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 Trans and she thought that is trans fat. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you're thinking about trans fats. <laughs> uh, flax seed is a thickener. And it has very healthy fats in it. <laughs> So we have an exam in just about a week. So that's why we're doing a review today. <laughs> if we talk about cancer, what are some of the causes of cancer? <coughs> Smoking is a big cause. What's another one, Melissa? Oh, sun, sun. The, okay, the sun, but what about the sun? Uh, if it burns to third, third degree burns, then it's... That's right. If we get terrible burns, it increases cancer risk. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get enough sun, uh, that also increases cancer risk. So, if we get a lot of sun, then we get a lot of cancer. If we get a lot of sun, then we really need a lot of sunshine to avoid cancer. So many people in the world are avoiding sunshine because they want to avoid cancer. <coughs> and such a mistake they're making. What's another cause of cancer in Bangladesh? Miss Kemi. <coughs> Okay, the toxins. Yes. Yeah. So the toxins that from the plant medicines and also especially arsenic from the water. <coughs> now we talked a lot about arsenic. What can you do to help someone who has arsenic toxicity? There are lots of things we've learned that you can do to help them. 
অনেক কিছু করতে পারো তুমি তাকে সাহায্য করার জন্য ফিল্টার ব্যবহার করে ফিল্টার ওকে আ রিভার্স অসমোসিস ফিল্টার রিভার্স শুধু ফিল্টার না রিভার্স অসমোসিস ফিল্টার ইয়েস এন্ড দ্যাট মাইট বি এক্সপেন্সিভ হোয়াট আর সাম আদার থিংস লাইক হয়তো দামি কিন্তু আর কি করতে পারে আর সাজনা সাজনা বিস মরিঙ্গা সিডস Moringa seeds and this is a lot of work but maybe if you have a moringa tree you can do it. <coughs> this boiling the water help? No. No, not with arsenic. But eating lots of fruits and vegetables does help. কিন্তু অনেক ধরনের মানে অনেকগুলো and especially when you eat fruits and vegetables you can get some zinc and some magnesium that helps <coughs> and there are a couple substances you can put in your diet that help to remove the toxicity of arsenic <coughs> এডিশন <laughs> আমাদের এটা মনে আছে যে হলুদ সাহায্য করে আর ক্যারব তেতুলের মতো দেখায় আমরা কখনো দেখিনি ক্যারব তেতুলের মতো দেখায় আর কিন্তু মিষ্টি তো ওই কি বলে হলুদ সাহায্য করে ক্যারবও সাহায্য করে কিন্তু দুইটা একসাথে একসাথে যখন থাকে তখন দুইটা যোগ করলে যত হয় তার থেকে আরো বেশি সাহায্য করে So using them together really is a great thing. In less than a month we'll have some turmeric here. And that's a turmeric. I met Kara. We got turmeric already. <laughs> And then we can help people that have arsenic poisoning. Who's your own has a question? পঞ্চাশ So it's very good that the people of Bangladesh like turmeric. Now we need to get carob in front of them. And get them to start eating fruits and vegetables. <laughs> you had a question, Nusra. <laughs> আর <laughs> 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 and let them uh, soak in the water they will bond with the arsenic <coughs> i think that if you do a google search on these things you can find them i do think the moringa seeds solution is not it's too much trouble for most people because you need to drink a lot of water so maybe the other solutions are more useful 
But if someone can't get turmeric and carob, and they can't get <coughs> fruits and vegetables, I hope they can find a moringa tree. <laughs> Turmeric has very many healing properties. Turmeric flower. Flower. Not flower that. Oh, not the powder. No, no, no. You mean the flowers? Yes. I don't know enough about it. They have curries on it. Oh, like mozart. She said it's very delicious. The most, the most uh, researched part of turmeric is a chemical in the roots. Oil. So I don't know anything about the plant. I don't know full near flower near Karahai. হলো <laughs> <laughs> Last year when she was she was in a mission trip and she like she gives too too much too many and it's easily how this most people do so and the pastor's wife district pastor's wife told her that don't give too much you know like you will have kidney kidney no kidney and lungs will be together. If I was there I would have I said kidney damage is a real problem. It doesn't come from too much turmeric. It comes from meat proteins. And it comes from not drinking water. And it comes from uh, having high blood pressure. <coughs> and that means too much salt. So not too much turmeric, but too much salt. So you should be worried about your kidneys. But turmeric is not the enemy. <laughs> it's your chicken, your cow, your fish, and your salty foods. Yes. Uh, sir, I'm a man. 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 How can migraine be cured? Her migraine. You've asked this question before. I know people who live a very healthy life that have migraines. And uh, if you remind me after class today, I will find for you a research paper. The causes of migraines vary. They typically are not caused by diet. <coughs> they can be connected to how you think about things. So I will give you lots of information. But it's not in my head, so I can't just give it to you now. I have to look it up. And also, she cannot be, she cannot stay in the midst of noise. Yeah, that's often migraines are triggered by noise and by certain lights. Mm -hmm. 
The noise and the lights aren't the cause of the migraine. They're just a trigger. Ora, when I say shabdo or je alo, ita migraine shottru na. When ora migraine srishti pare na, kintu ora migraine ta ke aro baje kore to. If you can take away the cause, tumi jodi karon ta shorai kalo. Then the nose and the lights won't be a problem anymore. Ta khon shabdo or light shom shabdo. So we talked also about uh, kidney stones. Amra kidney stone niyo kotha bolsi. Do you remember the cause of kidney stones? Kidney stone howar karon mona sir. Kidney. Kidney pathe. Prashat prashat ke dore dore rakha karon to kidney pathe kama. Don't be on time. Storing it. So kidney stones have a lot to do with how much water you drink. When you drink lots of water, the acid in the kidneys is not so concentrated. So it doesn't form crystals. But when you don't drink enough water, it's very concentrated. So crystals can form. And uh, also, eating meat with blood also causes kidney stones. Because, because the blood has uric acid. So it leads to high concentrations. And uh, getting too much calcium from animal sources also can cause kidney stones. Oh, or oh, yeah. Um, animal products? Yeah. Milk, cheese, meat. <coughs> Yogurt. <coughs> She said her doctor told her eat more meat and fish so that you can have enough calcium so that you don't have any joint pain. My doctor also said the same So calcium is important. Calcium is good. But the good calcium is in your vegetables. For the last day, there's been a pile of greens sitting here. I don't even know what they're called. But just looking at them, I'm sure they're high calcium. Ujirong <coughs> asked, what is meat cooked with blood? What's the question? Meat and blood. Meat cooked with blood. That's like a question. What's the question? What is meat cooked with blood? So when when you kill an animal, if you immediately drain the blood out of it, it'll have much less blood in it. <sighs> but it also loses weight that way. And meat is sold by kilo. So many people don't like to drain all the blood out. Or they sell the blood. Or they sell the blood separate. Because people can cook with that. And both of those, uh, not bleeding or selling the blood, that's the uric acid there. Not now. Are you raising your hand? No. Okay. So, 
we have talked some about childhood nutrition. <coughs> about the importance of small children getting a, some good nutrients and micronutrients. <coughs> What do you mean by micronutrients? Micronutrients are things like copper and selenium and zinc that you don't need much, but you need a little bit to form your nervous system. So, uh, nutrition. So, when children don't get enough whole grains and fruits and vegetables, their uh, their intelligence is lowered. If the deficiency is too bad, they could even become stunted and not grow to their full height. <coughs> So I would say to those mountain mothers, drop the fish and buy the fruits. If you don't have fruit trees, make friends with the people that have fruit trees. And buy yourself a lawn, uh, a lawn, a uh, bamboo pole and put a hook on it and ask them if you can harvest some of the high fruit. <laughs> you need, your children need to have that variety. Yes. <laughs> Give me suggestion on a paramosho disarki the Pusti of Karanaki to Lago Paki Batara. So the one MBBS doctor advised him that the lack of nutrition causes hair fall and causes hair getting kind of reddish hue and white. And there are some nutrients that if you don't get them, it'll affect your nails and your hair. If you're eating fruits and vegetables, you'll never be lacking that those. But if you're eating only junk food, you'll start seeing these interesting colors in your nails. What interesting colors? Uh, usually it's like white cloudy spots. Uh, so you might have tiny bits of it, but it, it would be much more pronounced if it was an issue. <coughs> uh, so we talked about one important nutrient that you don't find easily in plant-based foods. So at the in nutrients abra assay data abra planets a ubids take a pine. You know what it is? It's B12. B12. I was, I was eating that supplement. So B12, we get it here uh, at B Well in our brewer's yeast. B12. What is that? Brewer's brewer yeast, or you might call it baker's yeast, or you might call it uh, nutritional yeast. Kind of yellow flaky food. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think you do, but maybe you don't. Heidi and I have it. Anyway. So B12 is something that you need to find some way to get it. And B12, the 
We've talked about strokes and uh, arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis. <coughs> what causes fat to build up in the arteries? What causes fat to build up in the arteries? Sleeping after eating. Okay, having too much fat. And your body produces fat from sugar when you eat a large meal at night. And when you fry foods, you hydrogenate them. Hydrogenate. Yeah, you make hydrogenated fats. That's why it becomes solid, but was liquid before. So that causes fats to build up. Now, um, what triggers a blood clot or a stroke? Well, what causes it to happen? Rakto jamaat badhe kano stroke hai. Excuse that. Rakto jamaat badha hotse. Oh, ek chor bhi ta jahan dhamoni te kiye lege thake ta hale rakto ekum chaat diye jayte hai. Mane jayte parana. So blood clot is when the is it chor bhi when the fat is sticking in the in the vein mm -hmm. in the artery and then. The blood is going, and the blood has to go nicely. But the mane ki okane chor bi jam se. Mane chor bi jam le to ar rakto jayte paro thena. Tar por ekdom chaap diye jayte hoy rakto. Oh, so tell to roy kine rakto jamat bada hoy lona. She was explaining how the fatty streaks explain mane happen. Yeah, so it can happen two ways. The fat can build up until there's just no more room. Then the blood moves so slow that it just coagulates into a clot. But what's more common is when the fat is covering part of the artery. Some radical uh, element damages the covering on the fat. And now some blood begins sticking to that spot. And it forms a clot. And if it's here, it's a heart attack. If it's here, it's a stroke. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned quite a number of other illnesses and diseases. We talked about infectious diseases. Those are ones that we catch from each other. Uh, I... I caught some disease from someone. And I'm amazed that more of you didn't catch it. We all have it. You think you all have it? We yes. all have it from Kumilla. But I don't have you I don't hear you all coughing. We do it at night. Morning we are fine. All at night you're all coughing at night? Yeah, that I'm bossy, I mean I do not exactly pisces, you should be cashy. But I'm bossy, I'm the shower asset. 
have whooping cough you'll never get it again it's just one time in your life whooping cough is different that's what i have so